Hello, YouTube. Hello, Bob Squad. Whatever. I end up deciding I need to call people because we love labels. I'm absolutely knackered. It's now coming up to July 26. How are you all doing? And just doing a random vlog. Talking to the camera. I hope I'm talking to the camera. Because this microphone doesn't want to work sometimes and I've got to do some noise and movement and stuff. Can you tell I'm sleepy? My eyes look really good in this video. I better not go cross-eyed there because that might actually kind of look a bit uh, weird. So, I've been distant, again, as always, mostly because real life. Um, push from the shove, I've got a job interview coming up soon for a promotion at work towards supervisory. And um, I'm putting a lot, of effort, laugh, 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 a lot of effort into doing that. Because as much as I love doing YouTube and stuff, I don't know, it's funny. I'm a stubborn, stubborn person. I want to do things. I get into doing things. Things are going okay. Something gets in the way, slows me down. It stops. Then it starts again. Get really good. Things happen. And things slow down again. It's always been a revolving theme around me. Because whatever I put my mind to, I want it to be more than what it is. And don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking myself for it. But it's kind of crazy. Um, today I watched a video or tonight earlier. Um, there was one by KSI. Now, it's a funny world. By the way, yeah, I am doing Pokemon Go. I've got loads of Pokemon. Um, but, getting to the point. Um, at the moment, I really just don't know what this future is going to hold. Don't get this confused if I'm worried for the future. I just don't know what to think. We had Paris last year. We've had Paris again this year. We've had Paris again. We've had Germany attacked. Germany attacked again. Uh, Saturday just gone, we had someone commit, so try to commit. I don't know about this, but someone's falling, falling over a balcony in a shopping centre where I was like 10 minutes away from, and you've got the right to the America, and it's just like, barring this one thing, which is just someone being desperate and jumping over or whatever, it's kind of crazy to see the world, and it's like, when I first started doing YouTube and streaming and Twitch and all this stuff, it was crazily good. It was awesome. It was a great feeling. And there's a hell of a lot of support out there for anything you want to do. And a lot of love and a lot of progression was being made. But then I saw KSI do a video reacting to how he's a bit pissed off with things and then apparently someone sent him this video by this other youtuber called rocker um he is like very he made a very you know the song what does the fox say he made a very racist version of that and then ksi did a video reacted to it um but it comes over as like he's pissed off he's ranting a bit then he says oh look i've been sent a video and um he watches it and it's funny when people knock it because they're like, oh, you reacted this way. And then as soon as the main thing came in, you kind of was like, oh. because basically it was like a racist video, stereotyping like Chinese people, French, German. Um, and he was kind of smiling at it, I guess, because it's kind of like we accept and find people on the internet find it funny that you can be racist. And of course, he he got to that point when it was hammering down on like black people and what we think of them. Now, I'm not the kind of person who you know goes, "You're black, then you must do this, you do that." Like you know, I wouldn't believe you know that all popes are child molesters. Every person should be judged on their own merit. But this guy Rucker makes a <sighs> makes this video. To me, it was hard to watch, and as you're watching it, I think KSI genuinely was shocked by it, and that's how it goes. And then this guy 
must see that KSI has kind of taken the proverbial bait um, because this guy obviously wants to get attention. And by the way, I will get to a point in this in a bit. Um, this guy gets his attention and he's basically saying to KSI, shut the fuck up and all this stuff. And I, it's a joke. But it's like, I had this argument years ago when I did um, my video on Hermfront. That child scene when the, the kid sees his parents shot in front of him. And it's like, it begs the question how much is too much? Um, forget about the home front thing, but you know what I mean? It's like, at the moment where, like, there's police brutality and all this stuff up in the air that we don't see, but we can only assume is, you know, police officers being overly, overly, what's the word, excessive towards black people, which they have done. There have been videos where I've seen it. But it's like, this landscape on YouTube and stuff these days, it's crazy. It's just going completely... I just don't understand it anymore. I really don't. It's like... I really do worry for the future. Because uh, it's like, I go to work and everything's fine. You don't have... It's kind of funny, we all don't really want to work. If you, even if you want to work, you would rather, if you could, have an easy life. But sometimes I really do wonder if being around the workplace is a good thing. And I think it is a good thing. Because during that shift, unless you've got something personal going on, you don't have to worry about all this crap. And sometimes I wonder, have I really invested myself properly in trying to do YouTube and Twitch? Three or four years ago, yeah. I really do. I, I have made some great friends and the ones who keep in touch the ones over the past few years. But the way the audience is going, I think now that technology has become more widely available, and I'm not looking to make excuses for why I can't do it because excuses are the nails that build a house of failure. That's a saying I found out from LA Beast, um, but he got it somewhere. Because at the end of the day, the reason why my channel hasn't succeeded, or whatever you want to call it, is because of my own effort. I haven't put enough into it to get what I want from it. So it's only my fault. But it's like, you know, when you're just there and you're just thinking, is the love still there? Um, and sometimes I wonder if it's just love or an addiction. Am I truly in love in making content? Or do I just like meeting people? It's like the old adage, like, if I was to leave work, I wouldn't miss the job. And it would be the people, that kind of thing that people say, like, oh, I didn't like working at a company. It was a shell. But God, I had a laugh at the, start, the, the guys who I worked with, you know. It's like, I really do wonder. I just, I don't know, guys. I tried getting into a schedule with the streaming. Uh, did it for a bit of a week unofficially. Uh, did it for one week officially. And then by the second week, by the end of the first official week, I had things going on at work, good things. And then it kind of switches your mindset around. It's like, because I work in retail, it's such a crazy industry to, to be in because it goes so quick, especially if you want to progress and you've got someone who's noticing you or is willing to try and help you get ready for it. Like, I've got an interview and stuff. It's like, I just don't know anymore. Um, every time I try and do YouTube, and by the way, just to bear with the tiredness and stuff, that's, it's late, and sometimes I feel I get my best points out when I'm tired. I call them tired thoughts, which can be bad in my mind because sometimes it can be too close to your emotions, but it's needed. Um, I forget where I was going with that, talking about that. I just feel that... I want to keep focusing on that and every time I come into doing YouTube stuff I just end up being self-obsessed and then the old habits die come in like oh it's not going so well um, and whatever so I don't know I really would like to do but I just think um, I'm getting to that point in life now where I want to just settle down and get on with it but that little child inside me in the back of me it's like Let's go to the park, let's go, let's just have some fun and 
I don't know what to think, guys. I really don't. Um, but I'm still thinking of you guys. I really do like keeping in touch. And I don't know, just seeing that today, that stupid little argument on the internet, it's like, it kind of just makes you kind of lose some respect for some people in the world. Um, because it's like, if you look at it this way, it's the customer base you're catering to. And if that customer base isn't something that you enjoy, if that's the kind of people you don't like being around, then should you really go there? Should you be going to the bar if all the people there want to beat you in, beat you facing? Or, you know, you want to give them a few home shoes? No, you want to be in a position where you're working with customers who want to, who actually, you know, are mature. And there's a lot of maturities out there, but I really don't know. I know I've lost track about where this video is going. I mean, it's been 11 minutes long. Um... But I enjoy doing more of these kind of videos, just talking to the camera, to the mic. And just playing games for the sake of playing games. Like, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft. Feed the Beast, Infinity Evolved. Um, we were doing expert mode, but that didn't work out too well. We ended up deciding that it's too much for effort. So, because I'm new to getting things right. And expert mode was like going to try and run. When you haven't been born yet, so it's kind of what the fuck. So, you know, I've been playing that for a while. When I get a chance, even though, like, I'm in the middle of a two-week patch where I can't do videos and play much because I'm just too tired from working loads of shifts together. Like, maybe in three weeks, I've, done, I've had, like, one day off there, one day off there, one two-week period. It feels, like, a lot longer, but, yeah. So... We'll try and get my content out there, uh, but for now, I'm going to jump into bed. Maybe play some Pokemon Yellow, because I ordered that for the 3DS. And I get some sleep. Um, but yeah, I'm about... Uh, I'm just too, too relaxed. And sometimes just shutting away from all this shit. It's bliss. So, thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, feel free to leave, me, to leave me a thumbs up. And leave me a comment if you feel like it. But I might take a channel in a new direction because I really do enjoy being able to help motivate people. I do it a lot where I work sometimes. And yeah, I think it would be nice to actually give some kinds of tips and suggestions how I feel. You can help yourself. Because, you know, talk is cheap, but talk is valuable. As long as you give and listen to the right talk. So anyway, this is Keith signing out. Thanks for watching this video, and I will uh, see you hopefully soon. I'm going nowhere. I'll still be making content. What kind of content? I don't know. Um, I'm waiting on Battlefield 1. Um, what else? I might play the new Pokemon. I'm thinking about ordering that. But apart from that, yeah, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys again next time. Have a great night, guys. Peace out. Just going to find that button and press it. Three, two, one.